because this is the loudest game known to man. Go to stream this game at full volume, and even when you have half the volume for the stream itself, the entire viewer base goes away with tinnitus. It's great. Anyway, not for my nonsensical ramblings. You've seen the thumbnail. <laughs> Hmm. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. If anything's gonna give you tinnitus, it's likely to be this. No, not really, don't, please don't turn off the video, it's not gonna give you tinnitus. I edit the sound so you don't have hurry ears with just... Ooh, simple items. Not only do you get to transform into the most demonic money bags ever, you end up with quite the bang for your book. Now I could add, the entire content of all the things that make this ridiculously broken right off the bat, but I've always been the appreciator of having an evolution of a run, and seeing as I know what I'm gonna give myself to make it just so explosively wonderful by the end, I figured that we'd, if we don't do it all at once, it is a little bit more fun. If you didn't think we were going with scatter bombs, by the way, you were sorely mistaken. Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> That is just criminally unfair. Give yourself sad bombs and you blacken the whole floor. There was no need for that level of excessive tears, but now we've got it. Perfect. I just realized if I've just picked up that spider revenge shit, if I get hit by my own bombs, I'm going to be spawning spy dynamite. That is one for one what the creation will be. You know what, game? You handed me a shit bun. I won't turn it down. I wonder looking open gift horse in the mouth. I, I believe that's the expression. I don't remember. Look at him. Look at his menacing smile. Look at, look, look at his expectations of you to murder just for his want and need. Never mind the fact that the only thing moving on him is the top half of his head. Bottom's just staying 100% still, and that's really creepy. Never mind the fact you can see with his body, he's wiggling his booty as he rubs his hands together. For all I know, he's jerking off there. The pixels are too small to tell. Oh, peep. You're gonna wanna keep an eye out for these explosives. <laughs> I can't believe that killed him in one, but by god, if it didn't, the pun would have finished him off. Double my money, then go do a deal with the devil. All the richer for it. And that's not the devil. Oh, I'll kill that Bielsa Bob a piece of my mind. Okay, I think sad bombs needs to be turned off. I really do. I just saw a whole cluster of tears that should have spawned. Not even bother. It was there for a frame, and then, ah, nah, there's too many on screen. Too crowded. I got anxiety. I want to go back home. I want to get in my blanket. Roving sad bombs temporarily. So the entire game isn't broken, trying to process its grief. The joke because you cry when you're sad. And mainly because the frames go down to a <laughs> art gallery every time. He says, even though that seems to be the case regardless of removing the tears. Oh, okay then, no. Enjoy Microsoft PowerPoint circa 1999 edition. But the fact that this is no way near the actual cream pinnacle top of the mountain break there's still more to come and by the way i said top of the this is contractually obligated by any goddamn youtube with a soul top of the morning no. i didn't quite hit the note but i i hit most of my vocal cords man i think they're concussed halo I've not been a good boy, and I left my green armor at home. I don't know what I did to deserve this one, but hey, thanks. What would you call the hero of Hyrule if he became king of the internet? Hyperlink! Oh my god, I just want to go to the devil boy! My boy's coming to you! Oh, uh, well, never mind. That was one reroll that wasn't even cheating. Despite me deviating from the rules a thousand and one times, somehow I'm always being rewarded by the good guys. Actually, I take it back. Quite clearly, I've made them cross. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Who can blame him? There's no crucifix in this frame rate. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Oh, uh, please, God, pray that the explosives keep going up during my immunity frames. Okay, new floor, new items. As you can see, we've visited planet Barbie with all of the glitter. Well, glitter bombs work. Oh, God, we don't need more of also, I'm, I'm feeling for the purpose of this production that we kind of remove glitter bombs. You know, just at least maybe temporarily till we get to the final floor, because otherwise I'm f What the hell has happened to that bomb? It's on a weight loss program halfway around its orbit. Oh, and by the way, now that we're at the womb, I went ahead and decided to give myself pyromaniac. And it makes sense now that I found myself to the center of my mother's burning loins. I really am not proud of that. Oh God, blood in heaven, please protect me. Jesus. I'd like to remind you that I specifically have removed sad bombs, scatter bombs, all of those things, but still they multiply like goddamn rabbits in the spring. Also, if I'm a gentleman of a shorter stature and I'm going about combat with this specific weapon type, can we describe the deaths of all the enemies thus far to be due to implosion? Really good runs, except for the prime rate, even if you had an entire NASA space computer to render it, because this thing's made with fecking Java, but still, got the, got the bad jokes for the good runs, goes hand in hand. Oh yeah, explosion expertise, I didn't have that before. No, me? That's just complete, 
complete novice. Never even been near them so much as a, as a sparkler. God, it's a good thing you're here for me to give me expertise now. May someone please explain where that trinket came from? Uh, can they come from Mark Rocks? I've not seen that before. Oh yeah, Holy Mantle of the Poop. Boy, let <laughs> me... Let me ponder for a second. Which one should I take? Which one has more extrinsic value? Halo may have removed itself from my cranium, but I'm relatively confident I've got the right answer. Do you, do you mind coming up there for a second? There, there you go. I was probably almost certain my terrible joke scared him off and he wasn't going to play ball anymore. And if I'm going to be making jokes about volume-related things with this boss, here's one for you. How did Hush get his brother out of financial issues? He silent him the money. Oh my god, can you actually be hittable for any of this? I know I'm on an overpowered run. I know. I know that I'm usually not at liberty to complain about this, but you have been hittable for a... <sighs> Thank you for proving my point in the middle of me proving it. Hittable. About as Mother Teresa's face. I mean, come on, she's a goddamn saint. Well, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna punch that person? Shame on you. There you go. I copped out. <laughs> Better than cop in a field and go right to hell if you did that on her. Better get on any person, really, to be fair. Shouldn't really pick favorites, but, you know. God did. You ever heard of a boy named Jesus? Oh, steam sale. Oh, boy. I've been blowing off steam, like, every single second of this run, but I'm glad it's on sale now. Maybe I'll be able to buy myself some oven gloves, because this run is too hot to handle. <gasps> it's the old man again! Hey, Virgil. How you doing? You want me to go that way? I don't want to go that way. Bob's brain. How could I ever turn it down? <gasps> what is there? Cabbage patch, eat your greens. I'm nothing but green. Are you promoting cannibalism? I've got three cabbages running around after me. <laughs> so confused as to why. I was hoping Yero would work on them, by the way. Oh, so desperately, I was hoping that Yero would work on the cute little cabbages. <laughs> oh, 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 God, they died, I think. Got four kabai. What the... What's the plural for cabbage? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have to learn it soon because I've got a whole gaggle of the little bastards. <laughs> they would have formed a dev team and make a game not too alright at launch. Hey, in the future, guess then they'd have to put on a cabbage patch. If you catch my cold. Which you wouldn't if you eat your greens. Hey, keep keep healthy. That's that's my that's my motto. That's the moral from this goddamn story, apparently. <laughs> Why do I have a goddamn bunch of groupies? This is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life, and I don't even know what they do. They seemingly just jump into the mouths of other enemies, and apparently they're that disgusting that they poison them to death, and then in, in turn get killed themselves. There's a pink- it says eat your greens, there's a pink one. What are the rules? Can I collect one for every color of the rainbow? Are they this color from now on? Don't you dare get killed by those. Okay, thank God for that. Here you go. Got a kibai. Uh, it's kibai, kibai, because I can't move! Oh my god. <laughs> by the way, here's a joke for you. How did the demolitions expert get kicked out of his squad? He was explosioned for improper handling. Ooh, I don't like me. I don't. I've lost the will to actually smile about my own life these days. It's getting a bit sad. How many cabbage do I have? If should we go back to time to Ireland with we'll, we'll go down potato farming and just cure it with a little bit of this? You just run into their lives and say, hey, here, here you go. Have a bunch of these bastards in here. Yeah, you'll be completely fine. Not a thing to worry about there, our party. Just munch down on these cute little feckers. I'm ah, sure you'll feel a little bit bad about it, but at least you won't be dead. What is happening? I mean, my accent that doesn't stay the same, the jokes that aren't even in the slightest bit giggly, and the fact that there are more cabbage than bombs these days on a run dedicated to the shit. Hallelujah! Cabbage! Have at him! I'd like to point out that was actually the damage that they did to him. I'd, I'd like to notify you that that was the damage of cabbage. <laughs> this, I haven't shot. Actual healthy food is killing the final boss more than an endless carpet bombing run would. Although I am pretty sure that they're all dead now. I am relatively certain that all of my wonderfully healthy little babies have just gone the way of the proverbial dodo. Oh, well. <laughs> if they had the can-do had to do the Bart Simpson, if they said eat my shorts, at least it would have been fitting. There's a pink one here, by the way. Let's see how that little fella handles it. You can actually see the damage tick from the cabbage. That's significant considering this is the final boss. But hey, 
Given how deadly the healthy food was, and given one of the items that I found not too long ago, in one of the angel rooms, I think, and all the messaging that goes along with this game, pretty fitting that what ended up being the one weakness of this final boss was soul food. <laughs> Like this video, subscribe for more, and watch the video linked. Very much appreciate you for watching this shit. It means a whole goddamn lot to me. If you want to follow me at Tear of Grace on Twitter, or at Tear of Grace on Twitch for week daily streams, then I'd very much be appreciative of you. And I'm very much appreciative of the patrons for supporting this shit show. To the VIPs of David Beasley, Austin J. Forbes, Sir Face Munch, the Hernies Man, Casey McClara, and AJ. And not forgetting Colin Jones, King of Ember, and Eda Magnus Hahn. With the greatest of hearts, I say thank you for keeping this boat afloat in the times of need. If you want to support us on Patreon, you can. Can. Appreciate you. See you in the next one. And I make videos like at least four to five times a week at the moment, so you make sure not to miss it. Bye bye.